Image has always been a huge part of my life. Growing up, I had always admired my my uncle. He's a lawyer. He was always very impeccably dressed, um, the perfect gentleman. And he showed me that, you know, you could have one of the most serious jobs in the world and still look good all the time. He taught me that appearance is very important, but also the strength of one's character lies not in what he looks like on the outside, but what's in his heart and in his mind. I view life as one huge performance. I think at any given moment, no matter what I'm going through, it's one performance after the other. I just feel that the performances are getting more complex and more diversified in terms of what I'm doing with my life. When we're younger, we have this idea of how we want our lives to look. Most of us just see it as, you know, what we're expected to do. Get married, have kids, have a house, have a steady paying 9 to 5 job. Be the person that your parents want you to be. I'm a creative person. I've never thought like that. I've always known from when I was younger that I was different. I um, didn't necessarily see why I had to conform to what I was expected to do. I'm a firm believer in doing what comes to you naturally. What I want out of my life is different from what Joe, John, or Peter wants from his life. I want a situation where I can look back at my life and have no regrets. I want, at the end of the day, to be content, but at the same time, I also love beautiful things. In this journey of my life, I do want access to everything. I want to be able to travel to beautiful places, see great things, feel amazing things, feel love, laughter, happiness. I want to be excited. I want to be constantly challenged. I want my creativity to know no bounds. I want to constantly be surprised by things. I don't want to be jaded. In an ideal world, I think there would be um, no negativity, no regret. Everybody will look amazing and everybody will feel amazing. It's a situation that is only possible if everybody is, you know, putting out positive vibes into the universe. I've been challenging myself to be more positive. I'm testing the theory that you get back from the universe what you put in. I think we tend to forget that, yes, we did come into this world alone, but we are here for a reason. We are here to touch other people. We are here to experience things, love, life, laughter. And in order to create the perfect utopia, we have to keep that in mind and remember that, you know, our sole purpose is not to just serve ourselves. Fashion is dynamic. It changes so often and it's objective. I always stress the importance of style because it's the expression of how you feel on the inside, on the outside, with the help of fashion. When I was younger, my mother told me, she said, if you look good, you feel good. I, I went to college, I met one of my best friends, Bethany Tate. She took it a step further and said, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you do good. And if you are good, you're putting out good vibes into the world and you only receive good vibes in your life. I think it's very important that you dress how you feel. If you dress like a happy person, you will be a happier person. You will do good things for people. And when you do good things for people, positive karma is definitely coming your way. I love nice things, I love looking good, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that.